everyone, it's Algina. Como esta? And Rockham Sakura. Welcome to Fashion Photo Review for Drag Race Philippines. Philippines. Filipinas. Touch my face. Touch your chin. Touch your face. Everywhere you go. This episode's runway is Shake, Rattle, and Rampa, Filipino folklore. Do you know anything about Filipino folklore on China? To be honest, I only know of one. <laughs> oh, you mean the aswang? Yes, the aswang. <laughs> That's the one that my mom tried to scare me with as a kid. She's like, you're going to be bakla. The aswang is going to get you. <laughs> The aswang is like half a body detaches from you and then it like spurts wings and it eats on like pregnant women and it tries to eat like babies. I have only heard about the aswang in name and I've never heard it described and that is terrifying. Also, luckily, this is not a design challenge. You shady bitch. <laughs> I'm looking forward to these ones. But these girls are also going to explain it on the runway as yeah. they go down. Not everyone's going to know everything about folklore. We're just here for the fashion. Let's get ready to shake, rattle, and rampa. Category is shake, rattle, and rampa. At uh, first, we have precious Paula Nicole. Ah. Vampire. Ah, <laughs> she wears the sons of the devil. Is she about to give birth? Oh my god! Ah! What is it? Not the son of the devil. Does it walk? It's what? Legs are up and it's really. Oh my god, there's another one! <laughs> it's moving! It's moving! It's moving! It's moving! I love that she gave birth on stage, and I love that the reveal for the babies is that we're, they were still crawling. It's right. so cute. Fashion-wise, you know what? This is doing it for me. This this reads very like Mother of the Vampire. She also did like a scalping reveal. That was cute. I love that whole reveal with the baby. I'm so enamored. I do like this virgin white lace on a very monstrous type of look. But I do love that the baby was battery operated and it started to like crawl, which was genius. <laughs> this was definitely a very strong first out of the gate runway for this. I was expecting this kind of shenanigans and I'm getting it. I might throw the rules out the window because I'm looking for entertainment. I'm looking for drama and I'm excited. If there's fashion on the side too, then I'll be very excited. I know the bald cap was a little iffy. I really do love how beautiful the dress is, like that white virgin lace. I think it's very, very nice. Beyond that, I love the high-low of it. I love the sleeves, the ruffle at the end, and the theatrics. I love that she's like not even a complete bald look. It's like balding look. It's a toot. It's a toot. Next queen is Silhouette. So she is doing the same as the last one, Chanak. What I love about this is like the blood, which is made out of beads, is very like modern vampire. The silhouette of it looks so good on her. It fits her body really great. I love the little ruffles here and the little ruffles here. And I feel like this is really fashion forward, very couture-esque. Look at that train too. It's so good. That bodice underneath is very much not like her skin tone. So maybe try and do something to cover that up. Do you think that the bodice underneath being a different color draws attention to the fact that it is kind of a nude mesh on top? No, I need it to be like one underneath color so to really reveal a nude illusion for me. Okay, all right. <laughs> this is clean. It looks great. She looks so chic. She looks so... She looks so snatched. That waist is great. The slick back hair. This is a toot. Toot! Up next, we have Minty Fresh. What is this? Abolario, the witch doctor. Yes! I love all the bones. The texture of it, the kind of messiness of it yeah. is real cute. Very interesting. The layering of the bones over the outfit. I think that was really cool and interesting. The fact that it's like meticulously placed so that it's more of like a vest going around it, I think is really cool. The bones added to the shoes, ties everything together, and the hair is the same color as the bone too. I think it's overall very strong. I love all the bones. I love that it looks like a harness. 
I love this texture that's on the sleeve. It's so good. For me, like the overall presentation and the look and the fashion and accessories, not only is it cool, not only is it well accessorized and put together, not only does it have all of these different dimensions, I also love it being like a fierce abulario or a fierce witch doctor. And it's definitely a witch doctor I wanna like kiki with. I'm obsessed with it, I'm obsessed. It's a toot for me. This is a shoot for me. Up next, we have Gigi Era. Another Tanakh? Ano ba naman yan? But she's the actual baby. <laughs> this is serving though. Don't think it's fashion. Uh, no, there's no fashion to it. This would be fashion if she did the baby outfit in like neon and like in latex or like pleather instead of just like white cotton ruffles. Like a drag interpretation of a baby, like runway in any sort of sense. And then I would even like go as far as like wearing lace up boots and like lace up gloves and make it like that type of baby. I love that she's the actual baby though, like the actual Tanap, but this is a boot for me because there's no fashion element whatsoever. Yeah, this is a boot for me too. Up next, we have Vinyas Deluxe. Ah, it's a swan! Ah, 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 I can't it's, believe it! Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's so funny! I wasn't even ready! Oh my god! So this is what I was talking about earlier. This is the Manananga. What I like about this is like she did it more fashion-y. So there's definitely elements of fashion. And then it almost seems like the top part of her outfit, she's wearing like a barong, which is also a traditional like male look. But also there's like pinstripe, there's like swirls, there's tassels. She definitely thought about the aswang part and the manananga part, but she also thought, you know what? How can I make her fashionable and look fierce on the runway? Yeah. And the whole outfit and the makeup is giving Raven too. Do you think Raven does this? But also too, I love a good gag moment when she turned around and it was just a thong. I was like, how is she gonna do the back? Well, she didn't do the back and it's just her full ass out. It's literally just a string in her ass cheeks. Instead of like big ass wings, she has like these little tiny bat ones. And I appreciate that. I appreciate the gag. All right, this is a toot for me. Very high toot for me. Up next, tooting. Ah, tick tick. Oh my God, that looks good. I do wish she took off the mask at one point though. It would then ruin the illusion of it being the bird now. Because the mask itself isn't like specifically stuck onto her face. It's like a big, large, giant mask. I do love all the details. Like I love the netting. I love the wings, whatever it's made of. Like I like the little feathers. I like that there's also like one piece of bra. Very little cam. <laughs> It's a fun use of negative space for sure. The only thing I do wish is that she had taken off the mask at some point or maybe the makeup underneath the mask was featured a little bit because it looks just like a giant owl mask. I can kind of see her makeup behind it. She did definitely do something and she has like big black contacts. It would have been awful if she had just been like, oh, well, I'm gonna wear a mask so I don't need to do my makeup. So I appreciate that she did that too. There are queens who would boot for no shoes. Here's where I disagree. Filipino people, we are barefoot a lot of the time. We take off our shoes when we go in the house. We love flip-flops, we love showing our feet. This is very Filipino. So I am not mad at it. It also goes with the entire look. I hate the white panty should have been black. But overall, I really like this. It looks very much like a crocheted fashion dress. So overall for me, I think that this is really cool. And I'm gonna have to say a toot for Turing. Toot for me too. Up next, Eva La Queen. Ah, Spirit Auntie or Aswang as well. This one is more thought out. Wow. Ah, it moved. The whole thing is very cohesive from top to bottom. Also, the hair being a heart and it's yeah. framed within those wings is really cool walking down the runway. The bodysuit fits this runway really well. But besides that, the whole look is cute. I even love 
how these like shredded thing looks like a vest. Very Rick Owens in a sense. <laughs> Rick Owens is just like a lot of like cotton drapes and cotton shred. The draping is really pretty. I love the black. I kind of do wish it wasn't a vest though. And maybe it was like shorter at the top danglies and longer at the bottom. But overall, I think that this is a really strong look and I'm gonna give this one a toot. I'm gonna give this one a toot too. Up next is Marina Summers. Oh, it's water. It's a water fork or a merman. I like this bodice. This isn't giving like exactly, exactly Mugler, but I can see like a lot of design influences coming from Mugler with the top of the bodysuit. The bottom is a little disconnected, especially with the pants. I wish it had been maybe like full leggings, the same color. I wish it didn't cut off right at the shoe. That's a little disappointing for me. I love the flowiness of the fabric because it definitely reminds me of like seaweed when they're underwater and they're just like naturally swaying back and forth. I love the green on this and I love all of the texture that's been done to the bodice. There's definitely like a strong fashion element to this. I do agree that the length of the pant could be a little bit longer. I also love that the bodice gives her an hourglass shape and it extends her hips a little bit further which is drama I always enjoy in any of these type of like bodice work. Her frame is very classic glam silhouettes. I would say like very drama-rama. But overall, I think this look is very cute. It's very flowy and the shapes are really, really interesting. This is a toot for me. This is a toot for me as well. Coming up next, we have Bridgeting. So this is the Dalimakata, which I actually don't know myself. Oh, she's on her tiptoes. So she's not wearing shoes, but she's making sure she still has height. I still appreciate that. So she has bleeding eyes in her body because she's like some sort of like clairvoyant spirit. Is it fashion though? It's so hard to judge it on a fashion point of view. I wish the nude illusion matched her skin tone. The fabric is an interesting choice. It gives me a little bit too much of like skater boy era, but that might be more of like a Western thing. I don't really like the fabric. I kind of wish it was more of like a silk or something a little bit more flowy that worked better in the light. I, there are a couple elements that I do like. I love her makeup and I love her characterization of the character, but overall as like a fashion running down the runway, it wasn't really interesting for me. I do love the presentation and the fact that it's sort of homey sort of cozy, which is what I think a clairvoyant would look. I appreciate the cape. It's something that I would wear, but I would wear it with Nikes, obviously. I wouldn't be barefoot. The way that it's accessorized, the way that it's put together, even though it has less of a fashion element, I like it because of the overall presentation of what it is. I will say that I do appreciate that all of the eyes on her body have eyelashes on them. This is a toot for me. It's a boot for me. All right, last up we have Lady Morgana. Is this the Sari Manok? It is the Sari Manok, yes. You said this was Kylie Minogue? No, it's a Sari Manok, which is a folktale bird in the Mindanao part of the island. It's sort of like our phoenix. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Is this and what you based your look off of in All Stars? It did actually, yes. This looks amazing. The dress has a lot of detail in it. Here's the thing is it's readable enough that you got it right when she walked out of the runway. I think that the dress looks amazing. I do like the beading work from the neck all the way down to the chest. I love like the little veins on the sleeve. The one thing that I wish it was more cinched in the middle of the waist. So it has more of an hourglass shape. But overall, I think that the construction of this dress is really amazing and the presentation of it being the Sari Manok is really strong. I think it's cool. I think it's interesting. I think it reads really well. I just wish it was a little bit more cinched and maybe there was like a little bit more feathers on the top. I wish they read as feathers just a bit more. I'm gonna give it a soft toot. I would toot this look. Trend, Trend alert! alert. Blood red. Everything dripping in blood. Red, red, red. Stones in red. Hands in red. Teeth in red. 
red babies. Lots of red babies. Lots of red babies. <laughs> Our, Our top, top two of the, of the week, week is minty fresh. Equal parts witchy and equal parts chic. I could definitely see this going down the runway for like Alexander McQueen. I think it's incredible. Oh my God, mga kaibigan. We have episode four coming up on Wednesday. And you can watch it everywhere on Raw Presents Plus, except in Canada where you can watch it on Crave. How do you feel about this runway on Gina? There's a lot of blood. There was a lot of babies, feathers running everywhere and a lot of feet. This was really tough to critique because we're looking for fashion, but at the same time, I was looking for the category itself, but I enjoyed every presentation. It was so good, especially when the aswang came because you and I were like, we want to see an aswang and it did. And they did exactly what I said, but I was like, if there's no aswang with their ass hanging out, that is a pun that is completely missed. And she hit the mark. She hit the kudos to her. You know what? I'm sick of recording on zoom let's just go be in the studio i freaking hate it let's go please let's come on is the bus still running what i have my scooter bye see you next week <laughs>